All right, so let's get stuck into today's video. And it is a super interesting one, if I do say so myself. We're going to talk about whether caffeine helps with fat metabolism or fat burning. And if it does, how much of it you need. If you're new here, by the way, then hey, I'm James and I'm a sports nutritionist and I love caffeine. Hmm, that sounds a bit like I'm in a group, doesn't it? Hi, I'm James and I'm addicted to caffeine. Anyway, the theory behind caffeine and fat burning is well documented and has been looked at in various different studies. Fatty acids, and we're just going to call them fat, are stored in your adipocytes or fat cells. When you drink caffeine, in simple terms, it helps move the fat out of your fat cells to be more readily available to be used for energy. Now we know that this does happen, but there are some important things to mention. First off, caffeine will not just inherently make you burn more fat without exercise. So if you're thinking of just drinking caffeine and then chilling out in front of the TV, then think again, you still have to exercise. You can't get away with it that easily. Secondly, in order for that fat to then be used during exercise, you have to exercise at a low intensity. Fat can't be used during high intensity exercise. So early morning hit with a caffeine tablet or black coffee does nothing for fat metabolism. You'll feel the nervous system benefits of caffeine, but that high intensity training won't burn more fat. We won't get too bogged down into it here, but basically the harder you exercise, the more carbohydrates you use. And if you're working hard enough, you use 100% carbs and 0% fat, and caffeine won't do a thing to change that. You have to be exercising at a relatively easy intensity, and by that I mean easy easy aerobic training. The type of training that you can have a chat whilst doing, that's the type of intensity you want to be aiming for if you're targeting fat burning. Now, let's say then you've gone, all right, James, I'm gonna do this low intensity training and have caffeine. Will it improve my fat burning? The answer is that it might, yeah. Previous research has been on the fence. Some studies seem to suggest it does and other studies suggest it doesn't. But a more recent study from 2020 suggested that it does indeed cause you to burn more fat and actually a whopping 27% more compared to a dummy caffeine pill or placebo. Now that's pretty impressive, but it needs to be looked at with the bigger picture in mind. Whilst it did mean participants burned more fat compared to carbohydrates, it didn't change the overall amount of calories that the participants burned. That means whilst you might burn more fat, you don't burn more calories. So if weight loss is your goal, there's one massive thing for me to say, and that's that you still have to be in a calorie deficit to lose weight and to lose fat. If you aren't in a calorie deficit, it doesn't matter how much fat you burn, you aren't going to lose weight or fat mass over the long term. So in terms of weight loss, the fact that you might burn more fat using caffeine probably isn't that helpful instead. It's more about long-term consistency. Appropriate calorie deficits, regular exercise, and a healthy diet are your best friends. But if you're interested in the performance side of things and whether it might help with, say, endurance exercise, the truth is that it probably isn't that helpful either. We know that the best racing performance is generally carbohydrate fueled. So being able to burn more fat probably means you're burning less carbs and therefore working at a lower intensity. So I suspect it isn't overly helpful. It may be more useful though for any sessions where you do fasted training because you're increasing the fat oxidation or burning, which should be the goal of fasted training. However, we don't really have any long-term studies which looks at whether this might be useful, so we can't really draw conclusions from it. In general though, I actually suggest most people avoid fasted training or perhaps one, maybe two easy sessions per week at a maximum. This is because on the whole, they're generally a bit harder on the body, may cause hormonal upset, especially in females and, well, don't hate me for this, but most people get the required intensity really quite wrong and go way too hard. But that kind of is a different topic and let's not get too much on a tangent. In terms of effective caffeine doses, my advice would be to use one to three milligrams of caffeine per kilogram of body weight. This should be enough to get the benefits without feeling much in the way of side effects. Now, that's basically a cup of coffee. The amount of caffeine in coffee does variably considerably, depending on how it's roasted and stored and brewed and that kind of stuff. But a cup of coffee should put you in the right ballpark. 
Now I guess to come full circle, is caffeine useful for fat burning? Yes, it might well increase the amount of fat you can burn during exercise, but truthfully, it's pretty negligible. So whether weight loss or performance is your thing, you're likely far better off getting the basics right in terms of eating well, getting enough sleep, and having a realistic, manageable exercise schedule. Now, another good question is whether high or low intensity exercise is better for weight loss, and I have quite a strong opinion on that. I think one of them is clearly better than the other, and if you're interested in that, then you should watch this video here. Otherwise, have an awesome day, and I'll catch you next time.